Maine people have made their mark on the business industry over the past 200 years. Among others, Chester Greenwood invented earmuffs, the Stanley Brothers created the Stanley Steamer automobile, L.L. Bean and his boots, and Hiram Maxim invented the machine gun. Add to those a name you likely don't know, Alvin Lombard. His invention is used every day around the world, and his memory is being kept alive by some dedicated guys in the woods of Bradley. Don Kerrigan and photojournalist Kirk Craddy decided they had to join them. Yeah, I'll try and get it as close as I can. It's about six inches. We'll, we'll go. go. More. Right there. All right. With new snow overnight, it's a perfect morning to try out the sled. Terry is always uh, trying something new. And new to these guys, at least, it's the first time the Maine Forest and Logging Museum has hooked up two of these old-fashioned logging sleds. A nod to Maine history pulled by an important piece of that history, the Lombard Log Hall. These uh, machines could tow 300 tons of logs, and they would be stacked uh, many logs high and chained on. Herb Crosby is president of the museum, which keeps the legendary Maine-made machines going. They were invented just over 120 years ago by Alvin Lombard of Waterville. Crosby, who was a professor of engineering, calls Lombard a mechanical genius. He certainly was. <laughs> Although he didn't uh, go to school beyond a one-room schoolhouse, uh, which was very typical. This would be pretty similar to what he first came up with. Very right? similar. Terry yeah. Harper is a, also an engineer and says Lombard's vision was inventing the track system to drive the log hauler through the snow. In 1900, he mounted the tracks to a steam locomotive, put skis on the front, and changed the woods industry forever. He saw that there was a need, and what he developed was a early crawler track. In 1900, he patented his first machine. It was steam-powered. They called it Marianne. They say Lombard's company built 82 of the steam log haulers. Only three remain that still run, and two of them are here at the museum. They fire them up in the summer. In 1914, Lombard began building a gasoline-powered version. Hundreds of them were built, including this one, with wheels on front to use as a snowplow in Waterville. Most important, is it fun driving this? Oh my gosh, yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I, I, it's the most fun you can have at five miles an hour ever. <laughs> so, I had to find out. So, throw the clutch in first. The log hauler is a fascinating piece of Maine history, but Alvin Lombard's invention went far beyond his home state. Over time, his track system was adopted by others. That was fairly common. People, if something works, people would all copy it. And is now used on construction equipment and military machines around the world. But it started in Maine, and Terry Harper says the world ought to know what Alvin Lombard did. It's made in Maine. It was conceived in Maine, and it was used in Maine, and it's an amazing, it's an amazing thing. And here, at least, in this Maine forest, that genius is still very much alive. In Bradley, Don Carrigan, New Center, Maine.